Welcome to Soup Club Recipes. In my last video, I showed you how to make a spicy hot pot base. And today, we're going to use it to make a classic Chongqing hot pot. Actually, today I invited my friend and we will have a hot pot party tonight. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about the ingredients I'm using today. For the meat, I got some lamb and beef slices. I don't have a slicer, so I just bought them from the supermarket. Pork loin, cut it into thin pieces. I marinate it with one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, one tablespoon of soy sauce, some salt to taste, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to tenderize the meat, a tablespoon of cornstarch, Mix it well and let it sit for 30 minutes. Then it should be ready for the hot pot. Fish meat. You can use any fish you like. Simply coat it with some ground ginger to keep the freshness. My tip for you is to cut the fish into bigger pieces because I noticed that these thin fish slices will break apart as soon as you put them in the hot pot. Fresh shrimp. For this hot pot party, I already did so much work. I am too tired to peel and dewing them, so I'll just leave them whole. You can peel them if you want. I put them on top of some ice bag so they can be nice and cold while you are enjoying the hot pot. Squid. Give it a nice pattern and cut it into small pieces. Some homemade beef balls and pork meatballs. They are so juicy and tender. Everyone in the party loves it. If you want to know how to make it, there is a link in the description. Besides the meat, I prepared some fried tofu, Japanese tofu, because I love tofu. Here are some shiitake mushroom, needle mushroom, and oyster mushroom because I'm also crazy about mushroom too. Some green veggies, baby bok choy, baby Chinese cabbage, and lettuce stem. Lettuce stem usually got that tough skin. You have to peel it off and cut it into thin slices. It is popular in China because it's very fresh and crunchy. Taro slices and rotis root slices are also popular for hot pot too. After all, I prepared some mung bean noodles. It is good for hot pot because they are not starchy. If you use fresh wheat noodles, they will ruin the hot pot broth. Okay, I prepared a lot of food because I got many friends come over tonight. You don't have to do exactly what I used. That is the best thing about hot pot. You can use whatever you like. Now it is the time to show you how to make the hot pot soup broth. I am using homemade hot pot soup base. If you want to know how to make that, there is a video link in the description too. Go check it out. If you don't want to make it yourself, you can buy the pre-packed ones such as Lee Kang Ki or Little Sheep. They have a really good reputation. Put the soup base into the pot, then fill it with chicken stock and bring this to a boil. A lot of people just use water. To me, the flavor will be flat and not deep enough. When you are eating hot pot, all the food goes into this broth, so the flavor in this pot decides if this is a good hot pot. That is why it's really important to use stock instead of water. Once this pot comes to a boil, I will add some dry hot chilies, Sichuan peppercorn, big scallion stock for extra flavor and also for the presentation. Don't be scared, you can always adjust the spicy level to your own preference. Before we start eating, add some salt and taste it to adjust the broth because every hot pot soup base contains different amount of sodium. 
You also want to have some extra stock on the side because as the time goes by, the liquid will evaporate and you will have to add more broth into the hot pot. Add a few pieces of spring onion at the end. Now you can bring this hot pot out and serve. Chinese hot pot is great for friends and families. Everyone can pick or bring their favorite ingredients. You can really talk in and enjoy the time with them. That is something that's deep inside our culture. So I hope you give this a try soon. And as always, check the description for the written down recipe. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episode. If you want to know more about me or support me. Check out my Patreon link right there, and I'll see you next time. Bye.